Hey, Paul and Kayla, we're taking a look at that house you emailed us about that was, came in on your listing feed. We're at the uh, base of Dictionary Hill. I think you said you've already driven by, so just in case you want another look at it, there's Dictionary Hill. There's the house. It's bank owned, Fannie Mae owned, home path home. Built in 77, 1372 square feet, 3 2. Low twos. I think they just had a price reduction to 239, but those, of course, are always subject to change, further reduction. So let's take a look at it. So, like most of the homes up here, there's some different elevations. So all these homes are, are built on a hillside. Okay, looks like the carpet has been changed. Recent paint on the wall, it does have the acoustical ceilings. Okay, and here's the kitchen. Tile countertops, vinyl floor. Little garden window there. You do have some some views. There is some obstruction. I mean, obviously you're looking out at the neighbor's roof here, and you have some views here. A lot of power lines in the view, but still, you you, you sit well above the the homes across the street and below you. Okay. It's one long hallway with the bedrooms all off of it. So we've got a bedroom here on the right. This is a rather small bedroom. This stairwell is the interior stairwell, stairwell down to the garage. So we'll go down there in a minute. Here we have the master bedroom. Sliding closet, mirrored closets. And it's a stand up shower stall, looks like tile. Vinyl floors. This would be the guest bath. It's a shower over tub, also tile. And some, some wild countertop there. This would be bedroom number three. This would be significantly larger than the other guest bedroom. And it has a walk-in closet. So pretty, pretty good size walk-in closet. And I would say it's at least one and a half times the size of the uh, the first bedroom so and the master was was decent size not big not small just just average okay let's head down to the garage the stairs as you walk down them have a discernible lean um from the uh towards the downhill i i don't know the reason for that but it's noticeable as you walk down Okay, it is a two-car garage, but it's a, it's a good size two-car garage. You can see that there's a two-car garage door. Then your laundry area is right here. And then it's got extra space there as well. There is a crack in the, in the cement here. This area is pretty well known, as are lots of parts of San Diego actually, but this area is pretty well known for, for slab cracks. Now this is a raised wood floor, it's not on a slab, but the foundation itself, uh, of course has to be checked out. You, you need it inspected. Okay, this is under the house. It looks like a 
new or, or, or newer, certainly, furnace and hot water heater. And a little bit of extra storage space here. And like I mentioned, we're on a raised foundation. So all of your ducting is under floor ducting. The garage door, for some reason, is, isn't closed all the way. I don't know if that's adjustment or what, but the gap is pretty close to the same. But then, again, move this trash can. There's a crack here in the, in the garage with, with considerable deflection. You can see the elevation change. Maybe not on the picture, but you certainly can see it in person. So that would be my main concern with this house and, and frankly something that needs to be looked into in any house, but specifically this area would be the, um, the foundation issues, whether it be slab or, or, or the uh, perimeter foundation. But hope that gives you an idea of it and let us know if you wanna come visit it in person. Almost forgot, I don't wanna get out of here without taking a look at the backyard and I know you'd ask me to take a quick peek at the roof so here we go okay so we've got a, a covered pergola style patio some stairs up to a raised backyard big level area right here And let's take a look at that roof. It's one you'd want to get a roofing inspection on for sure. It's, it's, part of it has been changed. So it's like a full hip roof around the house. And I don't know if you can see it, but I think you can. The ridge caps and the, uh, the overhang is newer roofing material. And then the rest of the roof is an older shingle that's that's definitely coming to the end of its life but it's been patched patched in all the way around the edge uh, that may be because there was some wood rot that they had to deal with I don't know I didn't see any active leaks inside the house and we have got quite a bit of rain recently but uh, the, the roof would also need to be looked at. So the, the two big concerns, uh, again, with this house would be foundation. And after seeing this, I, I think the roof would need to be looked at as well. So hope that helps. Call us to come check it out in person or any other house. Take care.